And now back to the Trump presidency and earlier, just within the last couple of hours, lawmakers in Washington voting to end the government shutdown. Jim DeFeedy, mm -hmm. host of Facing South Florida, is with us. And I guess we talk about the political winners and losers, just on the politics mm -hmm. side of it. Mm -hmm. And the general consensus seems to be that it's the Democrats who, who blew it here. They lost. Oh, I don't think there's anybody, there's no spinning this. The Democrats went into this shutdown saying that they would not reopen the government until there was a DACA fix. They do not have a DACA fix. They don't even have the promise of a DACA fix. They just have some vague assurances by the Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell that they will open it up for debate in the Senate. Paul Ryan won't even give them that in the House. So why did they agree to this? Because they realized they, played, they overplayed their hand. They had, a, they had a bad hand going in. And I'll tell you the moment that I realized that this shutdown was going to end quickly and the Democrats were going to cave was this morning when I woke up and I saw on the news that two U.S. servicemen had died in a training accident. And all across the TV screen was families of these servicemen will not be receiving the death benefits. You receive an automatic emergency $100,000 death benefit when you die in the line of duty. And these service members' families were not going to receive that benefit because there was no funding in the government to do it. That's when I knew this was over. You lost the messaging. Government, government shutdowns do not work. They never work for the Republicans. They're not, they didn't work for the Democrats. And Jim, we, we haven't seen the president during while well, the negotiations were going on. Do you think the White House played a role in all this? I think that the most effective thing that the Republicans did and the White House mm -hmm. did was put President Trump in a room somewhere and turn off, close the doors and try to take his phone away. It was literally it was the president throughout those negotiations leading up to the shutdown caused more chaos and confusion. This was Mitch McConnell at his best. This was what Mitch McConnell does. He engineered this. He played the Democrats perfectly and came across. And I'll tell you one of the things. Mitch McConnell is not just a huge winner in this case. If you think about it, by taking Steve Bannon off the chessboard, which was happened a few weeks ago, it also gave McConnell that feeling that he could, he could really go out and play some more because he wouldn't have to worry about having keeping his caucus in line with far-right candidates. So the so-called dreamers here, those are the people yes. that were protected under DACA. Mm -hmm. Now their fate is uncertain, pushed another few weeks down, down the road, kicking the can. What are the chances of some kind of a DACA deal, an immigration bill uh, being passed between now and then? That's really hard. I mean, I, I do not know. I think that there is going to be a bill in the Senate. I think that there is a, a, a strong number of senators who want to find a fix to this and can come to some sort of resolution. The House is so much more difficult. Yeah. It, it, just, it just is. And, and trying to f figure that out. I, the only way it can work is if in the House you were allowed to have, if the bill that was presented would get the Democrats and just enough Republicans. But Paul Ryan and the Republicans generally have a rule that unless the majority of Republicans agree to something, they won't allow it on the floor. Now, if you remove that and just allow a straight up and down vote on some of these issues, it would pass the House, it would pass the Senate. But I don't know that it has a majority of Republicans with the way the districts are drawn these days. Well, we heard President Trump not too long ago saying, you pass something, I'll sign it, I'll take the heat. We'll see if he really meant that. The problem is that that he ha that nobody trusts anybody yeah. in this process. Mm -hmm. That's what that's what you didn't see. Nobody trusts the president yep. to keep his word. Nobody trusts the, each uh, each side to keep theirs as well. Analysis from Jim DeFeedy. Jim, thank you very much. Mm -hmm. And look for much more on the Trump presidency, the reopening of the federal government today. All of that tonight on the CBS Evening News with Jeff Glor. That's at 6:30 after the CBS 4 News at 6.